also does. I think you included no half its from his music or his yeah. recordings. Yeah. There are really few people nowadays who had the privilege, like you, yeah. to meet him in person, yeah. let alone to study with him for yeah. three years and a half in the States. Yeah. So, how would you say, how would you describe Heifetz as a person? Uh, he was a very warm person. Warm? Warm, yes. I can tell you some, some stories. Um, yeah, anecdotes, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> well, um, I was um, always invited for, for his parties. He loved to give parties. Mm. Yeah, and then we played a, played a game with records on the, on the floor and we had to uh, do telepathic waves. And so I found out after two years uh, how it went, this game. It, it, <laughs> and he was wearing a hat, you know, with a stick. Uh, it was great fun. And he would always have a glass of uh, something in his hand, you know, beer or... And then um, I stood once uh, behind him when I just came there. And it was at this beach house in Malibu. And then, um, as young as I was, you know, I was a bit uh, naughty. So I always had this kind of uh, thoughts, you know, when when older people come, what would happen when when they when they would fall down or you know, or you push them or something. So I had the, the thought of what would happen when I would do this mm -hmm. uh, with Raifetz. He was standing with his back to me mm -hmm. and he was talking with people and uh, with the glass in his hand. And so I thought what would happen when I, when I would do this, you know, it would come in his face and he would kick me out, he would <laughs> get very angry and, and it would be the end of my, <laughs> you know, this, this really crazy thought. And in the moment I thought that, you know, I would never do this, but I had the thought. Um, he turned around and he said, if you have bad ideas tonight, you can go. <laughs> and it was such a shock for me, you know. This was like telepathic <laughs> <laughs> waves and uh, yeah, those things. How is he like in person? Yeah. yeah. So. He's as yeah. warm, yeah. Which really impressed me, surprised me, because I, from his music, we always talk about he has a very cool, you know, his coolness in the music. Yeah, you think? Yeah, we, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I feel feel a lot of warmth mm -hmm. in his playing, mm -hmm. a lot of dynamics, and um, I think many people do, but uh, I know because it's so perfect, then we get the feeling, yeah, maybe it's it's. Mm -hmm. yeah. Impeccable. Yeah, and, and he always had a stone face, yeah. of course, but uh, he was not like that. And that's why I came to the party thing, you know, because he was actually a warm person and he would, um, he would also um, give these parties, talk with the students, play ping pong, you know. And um, then the assistant told me uh, we should let him win because, uh, you know, he's older. And, yeah. And, but I, I didn't, I was a bad boy, so I was playing and I, I did on the side <laughs> and he was... <laughs> if you do how with him? <laughs> yes, and then, then he liked that actually. So everybody was so afraid, you know. And uh, then he said, well, now you beat me with this game, but tomorrow in the lesson, yeah, in your Bach, you will not beat me. Yeah. <laughs> at, 80, at 78, wow. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, but he was, uh, yeah, it was really fun. And then, that's why I also came to this, this party. Um, we were having nice glasses, you know, with, with some um, uh, bamboo around. And so I told him, uh, oh, Mr. Ivers, this is very nice glasses. And I didn't think anything, you know, but the week after, there was a little pack in the lesson, and he said, um, here, this is for you. I looked in it, and there was six of those glasses. Oh, how generous! So, that is very warm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, once he um, he heard that I had financial problems, and he said, uh, "Rudolf, in my office after the lesson." So I thought I'm kicked out, you know, because that's because can't afford the tuition yeah, fee. <laughs> bad conscious, you know, uh, and. Um, 
so he said, uh, well, I, I heard uh, you have uh, money problems, so here's a thousand dollars. And in that time it was a lot of money. And uh, I said, yeah, but Mr. Heibitz, it's uh, for me. It's was it a loan or a gift? No, he said, this is a gift and it's, it's with uh, no strings attached. <laughs> no strings attached. So, I didn't know what he means, so I said, what does it mean? Well, he said, you know, uh, and then we come to what you learned there, many of those things, you know. So he said, well, when people give you something, they always want something back, yeah? But he doesn't, so there's no strings attached. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Wow. So that was very nice. Incredible. And that I could do then to my students. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I, I always think of that anecdote. When I can do something for the students, then there's no strings attached. Yeah. Yeah? Because it's nice to give. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so in that sense, uh, he, he, he was a warm person to me. Mm -hmm.